हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू द हाइट प्रोडक्शन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट एन अमेजिंग बेसिक थ्री डी एनिमेशन ऑफ द सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक कोका कोला कैन इन थ्री डी स्टूडियो मैक्स विच इज दिस and now let's uh, we just need to create this let me show you that uh, this in my viewport uh, as you can see that uh, we have a can we have some it's a light and the third thing i have which is camera and let me show you currently i have this out so before creating the animation i'm just uh, trying to show you some basics or whatever i have done before like if i go to the material editor so you can find out these are the reflections and uh, these are the materials i have used on the can or on the drinks okay so i'm going to go to the render settings here hdr so i'm going to put video hdr here and uh, as you can see this is my basic hdr uh, and i'm already using this hdr for the environmental reflection that means whatever i'm going to render so you can find this reflection this reflection in the can when i will render this suppose i have changed the rotation of the reflection you can see the reflection in the can this one is the reflection which you can see so let's talk about this material this is the cold ring can material it's also a reflective material and now you will render this so it's a basic why it's not getting reflection because i have already checked the for now now i'm going to remove this check and we'll treat this reflection as you can see it has some fernal reflection so after removing fernal reflection let's see what we can get this output it was reflective perfectly reflective but it is too much we don't need this because it's too much so what am i going to do i'm going to do the control z or somehow turn down the reflection like this i have both options i can reduce reflection value or i can add uh, the same thing for an effect no not like this so I'll go back. I will create uh, some control Z and will find my last reflective animation or that was my output actually. Okay, fine. Uh from the basics uh, we have done, I have these three things, camera, light and the cold drink can. This is my animation time slider. so and this is i have to use this for my time configuration 30 frame per second my animation start from the zero and uh, here is 100 so i'm going to increase the time which is uh, approx uh, 120 frame per 120 frames sorry so according to the 30 frame per second 120 frame that means 4 seconds animation so i'm going to start auto key put the key here and from the basic zero frame i have turned this so let me show you now it's getting turn right it is getting turn first thing second thing i'm going to use light so select the light make it far and you can see is creating darkness right so we will move light in our second step so select your light and uh, 
like this when the light come near to this can so it will be like this so we have both thing we make to the light far it will dark and so on the same frame 60 frame per second this I will apply auto key here and from the zero side I will take it to the far that means the animation will come from dark to lighter like this that means light is coming near that is from 0 to 60 frame that this time we have to use camera so I'm gonna apply auto key and make it closer like this I mean this was like uh, you have to do your manually uh, okay 60 frame on this and 0 frame it will go more far so now if I will play this so you can see my objects like camera like light or can these are all moving one is rotating one is changing their position and one is getting scaling up or zoom in zoom out so this will be my output with end camera with light or with rotation so one more thing I'm going to add here for after 60 frame like this auto key and uh, on 90 frame here and give the position from left side that means the animation will come from 0 to 60 frame with the rotation like this and then after 60 frame it will go to the left side perfect here I'm going to go to the text and I will write the text which is called uh, taste of uh, feelings taste to the feeling so you just need to adjust their font sizes what the font you use like Arial Black and uh, a little bit I'm gonna go to the scale and a little bit of stretch like this and uh, that's perfect but uh, one more thing I need to make like this okay so increase the size the scaling adjust here I'm gonna apply extrude modifier this one extrude modifier little bit is depth in it and now you will have to spread this text like this so I'm gonna apply video material and white color with some little bit of reflection so it is the taste feeling text we have already added in this animation but now we need to animate this text as well I'm gonna apply a modifier which is called slice slice modifier and I will check the axis y axis now x axis will work so I'm gonna apply remove from the positive but it has to be like this okay so on this point I'm going to apply auto key and give them a space 120 and this will fill up so let's see I think no I'm gonna give 90 frame or 150 frame yeah 150 frame that's good I will play mm. 
like this perfect one more thing that I need to change I don't like I just want to give auto key here and from 60 to 90 frames it will rotate like this that is awesome yes so this is my animation I have done this what we need to do we need to make it render and uh, I'll give the render range is 0 to 90 frame and uh, I will give uh, HD size also save output where I will have to save and then I'm going to render okay so now I already use this render so, so I'm going to apply this render in Adobe After Effect and will turn into the composition and you can see this animation like this all right so this is the beautiful animation we have rendered from 3d studio max uh, i'm gonna apply solid layer with the red color from the behind okay so I'm already using this composition as a com for compositing. Uh, this will be my output. So it's scaling up or scaling down, just adjust their sizing. Okay, I'm gonna apply the effect which is called gradient ramp. And here it is the gradient ramp. I will take the red color picking red color and just select their ranges from this to this because uh, it has a dark part so that's why I'm putting dark part here and I will apply these keys here from this point okay and uh, when it will come to the light up on this so it will go to the far and the light background will light up as well so like this it will animate from dark to bright or dark to light so this is awesome not too much bad one more thing I need to add here which is background so I will import another picture this one pick this picture as a background image and I'm gonna scale it up like this and I will apply linear of oh, sorry I will apply linear wipe effect on this background this is the my background so I'm going to change the angle from left apply the key here and after giving time so this will be filled so this cutout will fill with the feather I'm going to increase the leave value of feather so that's good well according to me we have to add some more composition with value and go to the composition settings increase their time so I have increased their time from five seconds it was three seconds but now I increase five to five seconds okay so it is increased four second animation and on the last frame I'm going to sorry I'm gonna add my key here and split the layer after splitting just make them sorry just make them freeze and stretch this one that means this frame will going to freeze and it will not move it will stay so okay uh, let's just uh, see the output 
well this output is amazing taste the feeling of coca-cola so guys i hope you like this video and if you like this video so subscribe my channel press the bell icon and this is the real final output of my animation with the app of 3d studio max and after effects compositing thank you so much for watching this